Hi everyone and welcome to this week's Halton Hills housing update. So we definitely saw much better numbers this week. I mean, we're still nowhere near where we were, but versus last week, which were kind of staggering, um, this week feels sort of refreshing. So let's take a look at what happened this week. In Georgetown this week, we had eight properties sell and only one property sold over asking. And that was the lowest um, price point, which was at a 429 listing. So that doesn't really surprise me to still see activity there. Um, but as we suspected, we definitely are seeing a slowdown in demand. So the multiple offers are kind of, you know, becoming non-existent. All of the properties that sold in Georgetown this week were under 900,000. We spoke last week about the inventory being super high in those price ranges. So it's good that we're seeing the properties in like our key price point moving this week. I mean, the bad news is if you have a property listed over 900,000 and especially over a million, there has been little to no movement on those in the last four weeks. So in terms of new listings, we technically had 11 new listings last week. Of those 11 though, six were relisted properties. And of those six, three were relisted at a reduced price. So we're not seeing like massive um, changes in the overall pricing in the market, but I think there's definitely some people who are getting you know, a little bit worried and want to price their property a little more aggressively because, you know, they could have bought something that they're committed to. Um, so it's going to be interesting where the prices, especially those above that million dollar mark, um, start to go. In Acton, we had two properties sell this week, both in the 600,000 range. We technically had three new listings, but of those three, two of them were properties that were already on the market and relisted at a lower price as well. So in terms of Glen Williams, Limehouse, and Rural, we had no sales again this week. These areas are definitely feeling the effects of in town being less busy. And there was no new listings in Glen Williams or Limehouse, but we did have one new listing in the rural areas of Halton Hills. So let's look at active listings this week. Um, we're hovering around the 130 mark for all of Halton Hills. In Georgetown, we have 73 properties um, currently active. The good news um, versus last week is now less than half of those are under that 900,000 mark with some of the inventory being um, eaten up last week with those eight sales in that price point. So we have just 34 properties now listed under 900,000. Um, but yeah, that inventory above 900 is definitely um, sitting very, very high. In Acton, I mean, we're sitting at 19 active listings and I feel like week to week, we're just kind of like steady in Acton. So in Glen Williams, we have seven active listings, which has stayed the same now for the last few weeks. Limehouse is down to just two active listings. We had one terminate this week. In rural Halton Hills, we have 27 active listings. When we're looking at that overall market in those three areas, they are majority over a million. So again, that over a million price point is hurting and the majority of listings in those areas are over a million. So it's no surprise to me that we have seen it really um, cool off. Just knowing my business, I know that there are some people that have kind of been waiting to buy and didn't want to compete, but they still have, you know, paychecks coming in and stable jobs. And I think that's why we're seeing the movement in the lower price points. Um, those people are finally having an opportunity to participate in the market. Um, so I do think that that lower price point, especially under like 750, is still gonna continue to see sales on a weekly basis. I don't know what's gonna happen with that higher price point inventory. It is getting very high and there's a huge saturation. So hopefully these numbers are showing us an upswing in the market. I mean, I don't think we're gonna see anything like we saw, you know, six, seven weeks ago. So I do think people are sort of becoming a little more comfortable with our new norm and really looking at their finances and people that have been in the market and competing and their jobs are still stable. I think that's really what's moving that lower price point. So again, this is just sort of week to week. We're still seeing properties move. So that is one positive note. After last week, I was like, oh my gosh, is everything just gonna like stop? but eight properties is a good amount considering the situation we're in. 
So that's it for this week. Tune in next Tuesday and I hope you all have a great week.